Hello, dear students. I am Abhinam Negi and Dheeraj sir, welcome you all in your own platform that is resultant. So guys, from the Railway Recruitment Board, a huge, huge opportunity is coming for the post of junior engineer. And what is the scheme of examination in this RRBJ? How many stages are there? What is the selection ratio? How many students generally appear in this examination? What are the number of seats for different branch? Each and everything will be telling you. Let me tell you guys, the complete notification is out. This is the official notification. And soon, the same you will be seeing in the Railway RRB website as well. So, guys, uh, before telling you all these seat selection procedure, zone-wise, everything, let us go directly in his heart to Dheeraj, sir. Okay, welcome, sir. Yes, thank you, sir. So, guys, as you are aware, wherever some notification is coming for you guys, we are always there. Like when HPCL came, then also Abhinav sir and me came for the notification. And guys, we also tell you about the strategy to crack that exam. Okay, so right now also we are going to do the same. We will be helping you. And this notification is very important because uh, when you are going to apply for RRBJ, you need to decide like for which zone you will give preference. So that is why it is going to be very, very important. So uh, we will tell you each and every detail zone wise also. We will tell you about the syllabus also, about the marks and weightage also. Over to you, Abhinav, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, guys, this form, uh, you can fill the form from 30th of July. Okay. And uh, the last date of filling the form is 29th of August. Okay. So, I hope you will not be doing any mistake in the filling the form. But if some students do the mistake, then there will be a window from 30th of August to 8th of September where you can modify your form. But that thing should not be coming. I hope that you will be filling the form with full concentration. So, that mistake will not be done. Now, guys, about the pay and everything will be telling you. But before that, let me tell you, if I tell you about the fees, then the form filling fees for general category and reserve category is rupees 500 and out of which 400 is refundable. Okay, if you give the CBT one exam, 400 will be refundable. And for all other categories, guys, like SC, ST, OBC, female, transgenders, the form fees is rupees 250, which is refundable once you give the uh paper one that is cbt1 for cbt1 and cbt2 also i'll be telling you in detail okay so guys now if we go into the cbt1 cbt2 this is the fees for general category 500 rupees out of which guys 400 is refundable on appearing in first stage of cbt okay you have to give your account details as well similarly for other categories it is 250 the fees is and out of which 250 is refundable and appearing in the first stage now guys examination is in two stage Objective paper, CBT1 and CBT2. Now, what is CBT1? What is CBT2? What is the selection ratio? I'll be telling you. And then Dheeraj sir will be telling you about the job. Well, Zone-wise, different jobs are there. You have to apply in railway, now. you have to apply a, a particular zone. Suppose I want, I'm want, i applying in Gorakhpur zone. That means that 99% I will be in whole life, I'll be in, posted in Gorakhpur zone. Suppose someone in Chennai or he wants to be reside near Chennai. So he will be filling through Chennai zone. Then his selection will be or everything will be cut off will be as per the Chennai zone. Similarly, someone from Andhra Pradesh, okay, he can fill from Sikandrabad zone. His cut off, his competition, his job, everything will be in that zone only. Now, if I go to page number 13, okay, in the page number 13, there are two stages, okay, CBT1 and CBT2. So first stage is CBT1. Let me tell you the complete process of CBT1 and the number of papers. The syllabus is also mentioned. This PDF we will be sharing in the Telegram group. Civil by Abhinav sir, Mechanical by Dheeraj sir, everywhere we will be sharing. Okay, let me tell you about the exam. CBT1, CBT2, Computer Based Test 1, Computer Based Test 2. Then Dheeraj sir will be telling you about the vacancies of each and every zone. Now CBT1 is guys, uh, the paper are Mathematics, General Intelligence, General Awareness, General Science, and uh, the syllabus is also given for all these na? syllabus is also given that you can see in our PDF. Now guys for mathematics 30 questions will be there for 30 marks. General intelligence and reasoning 25 questions, 25 marks, 15 questions for awareness, 15 marks, 30 questions, 30 marks. So total 100 questions and 100 marks. Let me tell you that this CBT one is only of qualifying nature. Here if you got 100 out of 100 or 99 or 98. If you got just cutoff marks or 100 marks, that is both are same because the final selection will not be done this. The final merit, these marks are not counted. This is only for selection. Now, guys, of 100 marks, guys, uh, for unreserved category, you should be scoring 40%. 
for EWS 40%, OBC 30%, SC 30% and for ST it is 25%. Just this much marks you have to score and negative marking is one third. Now guys, let me tell you 40% suppose for general. So guys, out of guys, mathematics, general science and intelligence only, even your GS part is not very, very good. You can easily score. 40%. So that CBT one is not very tough. If you follow a particular format, if you are uh, doing a little bit of preparation also, that can be done. Now guys, CBT two, all those who will be getting the CBT one marks or uh, qualifying marks in CBT one, they will be giving the CBT two. Now CBT two, na, suppose a student is civil engineer or he is mechanical engineer. Then guys, 100 questions or 100 marks will be from civil engineering or a civil student. 100 marks civil for a mechanical 100 marks mechanical similarly for electrical 100 marks will be electrical general awareness will also be there of 15 questions 15 marks physics and chemistry 15 questions 15 marks basics of computers and application 10 question 10 marks basic of environment and pollution uh, pollution 10 question 10 marks so out of 150 na the two third is technical and one third is the other parts so i cannot directly say that all is non technical because physics and chemistry most of the things are relatable to your branches also so, if frankly I say, na, it is looking like in non-technical, thoda bahut engineering aa gaya. It is not like in engineering examination, thoda bahut non-tech aa gaya. It is looking like wo ek non-technical examination mein thoda bahut aapke paas uh, technical exam aa gaya. But yes, with a focus study, with the aim, and with a good content, you can easily score this because the number of seats are huge in this. Okay. Now here the merit will be there. Final merit will be coming here, guys. Okay, now guys about the post because you have to select a particular railway recruitment board. Okay, and whatever board you are selecting, your cutoff will be decided on the cutoff of that board. Your uh, seats will be, you are fighting for those seats which are there, okay, in that particular zone. And uh, your service will also be in that zone for most of your life or 99% it will be same. Now let us go directly to Dheeraj sir. He will be telling you about the post in different zones. Over to you, sir. Yes. Uh, so, guys, now I would be telling you about uh, the zone-wise uh, bifurcation. So, you can see, my dear, for uh, like RRB, Ahmedabad, uh, Western Railway Zone. Here, for general category, 149. For OBC, 107. 49 for EWS, 53 for SC, 24 for ST. Total, 382 seats are there. Similarly, for RRB, Ajmer, uh, Northwest Railway, 268 for general, 109 for OBC, 64 uh, EWS, 61 SC, 27 ST, 529 seats are there. Similarly, if you are talking about the Bangalore, then total 397 is there. These are the category-wise bifurcation. For Bhopal zone, total 485 is there. For Bhubaneswar zone, you can see total 175 is there. For Bilaspur zone, total 472 is there. Then similarly, you can see for Chandigarh, we have 356. For Chennai zone, we have 652. For Gorakhpur, we have 259. For Guwahati, we have uh, around uh, 225. For Jammu Kashmir, uh, Srinagar, we have uh, 251. Jammu and Srinagar. Then, my dear, for Kolkata, we have 660. For, you can see, Malda, we are having 163. For Mumbai, Jod, we have 1377. This is the highest. And then, you can see, for Mujaffar Nagar, it is 11. Then, for uh, RRB Patna, Eastern Central, it is 247. For Prayagraj, we have 404. For Ranchi, we have 167. For Sikandarabad, 590. For uh, Siluguri, we have uh, like 28. And for uh, Tiruvannathapuram, we have 121. So guys, these are the zone-wise uh, bifurcation and also you can say category-wise bifurcation I have shown you. And if we go to the notification which Sir was showing you, here you can see like syllabus is also mentioned. And before syllabus, I would also like to show you about the branches, okay? So like if you see the branches also mentioned like uh, your BTEC if it is there from which of the branches then you would be eligible for which of the post. Okay, so that also I'm showing you it is a very big notification actually. Uh, 77 uh, uh, slides or you can say pages are there. Okay, so I will show you just give me a second. These are the formats of certifications. Uh, now it will come. Okay, so guys we are coming to the main slide where the branch will also be shown to you okay guys uh, till sir is searching for that let me tell you one more thing that many times what you do now if in a particular zone there are most more number of seats then you apply for that that may be 
a little far away from your home let me tell you guys more or less what happens that in a particular area where there is more railway network more so of course guys where will be more uh, people required in railway where there is more population where there is more stations where there is more uh, railway offices so this is in proportion suppose in a particular area you i, uh, I in guwahati the seats are less or in chennai the seats are more then competition is also almost in the same level okay according to the population because it is simple process na there are more population more railway network is there more people will be there more offices will be there so more competition will be there okay so if there are 50 seats and 1 lakh people are fighting for this and in some other place there are 100 seats but 200 people 200 uh, is 100 seats but 2 lakh people will be fighting for that so ratio wise i'm not saying exact same for all zones but more or less it will be same because in those zones where there are less number of seats actually there are less competition also so ratio wise it will not be very very different among all but yes slight changes are all, always there over to you sir yes so guys you can see here uh, here they are showing like if you are from like three year diploma in engineering or bachelor's degree in engineering and technology if you're from mechanical production automobile manufacturing mechatronics industrial machining uh, machine tools tools and machining tools and die making or combination of any sub stream then by dear you will be counted under mechanical and allied engineering then by dear similarly if you are from electrical or combination of any uh, any of the sub stream uh, then you will be considered in electrical and, and allied engineering then by dear similarly for electronics instrumentation control communication computer science computer engineering computer science it you will be considered under electronics and allied engineering and guys similarly if you are from civil engineering and combination of any sub stream of basic stream of civil engineering you would be counted in civil and allied engineering so dear generally always students have a problem like when they are going to apply for uh, psu jobs then they always see, sir, I am from automobile, not eligible for the post. From aeronautical, not eligible for the post. So here that kind of complaint is not there. You can see all, almost all the branches are going to be covered. So guys, that's why I say this is the golden opportunity for those also whose BTEC is not from the core branch. So that is a very important point. And you can see in the last of the PDF, they have given the technical part syllabus as well. You can watch that also. PDF is already been shared in our Telegram channels, Mechanical by Dheera, sir, and uh, civil uh, by Abhinav Degi, sir. So you can watch the PDF completely and their syllabus is also mentioned. And even like whatever in, in like these, you can see all the branches are mentioned. So if you see, they are also mentioning that for which which branches, how many things are available. So that kind of post uh, post code and post number, all things are available. Because when you will be applying for this, you would be requiring all this. So it is a big notification. Filling form is uh, going to be a time taking task. So give your time fill it properly so that you can get benefit of that. Okay, because this is the opportunity which comes after so many years. Okay, so last time it was in 2018-19 when it came. So after so much time it is coming. So definitely uh, don't miss this opportunity guys. Sir. Okay, students. So this time uh, what we are expecting that around 20 lakh students uh, will be filling the form for those 7,900 seats. So the competition is tough, obviously, guys. But seats are also not very, very less. Okay, last time the seats were even more, around 14,000. So this time the seats were not that much big. But still, guys, uh, it is a competition where if you fight, then a reasonable number of students will be getting the results. If you aim, if you prepare in a focused way, of course, the results will be coming and resultant team is with you. So guys, please subscribe the channel and let me again tell you guys that me, Dheeraj sir and all the resultant team members are coming with something very, very big in a couple of days. We'll be announcing that as well. So thank you guys. Subscribe the channel for more such updates. And for any comments na, regarding RRB and any zone, please write us on the comment box below and we'll be replying there for each and every comment. Thank you guys. Take care. All the best.